My grandparents started U-Haul in 1945, and, and our company is still family owned and operated. So um, I have a lot of nostalgia for everything U-Haul old history. And when I was a little kid, um, my parents had one of these in our driveway. This road trip started because uh, another U-Haul colleague of mine uh, who oversees the West Virginia area of our country, uh, we were talking about them and we said, God, wouldn't it be cool to have one? And, and I said, yeah, you know, if we ever find one, um, you know, let's, let's buy one and, and we'll do something cool with it. And a couple of months ago, he emailed me uh, a link to an eBay ad uh, of this trailer that is currently on the road trip. Um, and the rest is history. Um, as far as the history of our company and activity in these trailers, we love it. Send it to us, send it to our Facebook page, hashtag U-Haul Road Trip, hashtag U-Haul Famous, and talk about getting out there and being on the road. We also have a really cool promotion about getting pictures of you in any U-Haul equipment, past, present, or future, on our equipment. Um, use the hashtag U-Haul Famous or go to uh, uhaulfamous.com and uh, find out how to get yourself and your camper on the side of a U-Haul truck. We have a section on movinginsider.com called Ask the Expert, and it's for uh, answering questions of, of any type about any towing situation or any U-Haul equipment, but that's a great place to send any questions um, about um, any U-Haul road trip that we, that we feature or our CT and VT campers. I'm not promising perfect answers to everything, but I am promising that we'll do our best and we'll, we'll look at every resource U-Haul has and try to get you good answers to your questions.